Well, hello, everybody. I'm Ian. I'm Paul. I'm Jimmy. Uh, exquisite Taste of Plain Water. And uh, we're here to talk. Let's do it. <laughs> so, uh, I thought it'd be fun to talk about, obviously, we're talking about the release, but, you know, I don't ever get my flowers, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we talk about the film a little bit. If you had any questions and thoughts, and you know, for me. Oh, I have a ton of them. Oh, okay. yeah. Questions or thoughts? <laughs> well, I've got lots Both, of Both, yeah. I've got very few thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Most uh, of my thoughts are questions. <laughs> <laughs> I've got questionable thoughts. Uh, Who's on first? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, I first I want to thank you for uh, how this all has come about. So the way we release the record with the film isn't what you'd nor the way you'd normally do it. Mm -hmm. And I think I think we need to thank you for sort of having that that thought or that idea. Um, I don't know what made you think of doing it that way. I think here's the, here's the cool thing. So I'm a huge Nine Inch Nails fan, uh, and I would say a few years ago they did a trilogy of EPs. And I always thought that that'd be a cool way to like release an album. And I didn't really, I don't think that's something I pushed for for you guys. I think it just, you guys decided that you had to release the album a certain way. And uh, when you guys came, when Paul came to me and said that, you know, we, we're gonna pick three songs. And which, which three should they be? I felt, oh no, my film that I was working on for this whole thing, I was like, well, I think it should just be the first three and we just call it chapter one. I think that would be the best way to do that. But it, it seems, uh, like a intentional intention yeah. yeah yeah you know so that's but yeah i you know looking at the musical landscape it's just so different now you can't you know i don't know you release a record into the void this way we get to release like four records into the void <laughs> yeah and i think that's the thing that really i'm grateful for is that you have to find some way to set yourself apart mm -hmm. um we knew we had some some great tunes here I mean in our opinion <laughs> and um, so it's really cool to release it this way whereas in the past you just release a record and you just hope for the best you know but right. now we've got like okay here's a taste of it and, it and a film accompaniment you know that yeah. you can that's beautiful by the way I mean I'm just so excited about it uh, and and then we continue on with a couple more chapters you know right. and beyond so I think there was always like I think from the very beginning you know the way I got involved with the band was making lyric videos, trying to make a visual accompaniment. Mm -hmm. And these guys were so gracious to allow me closer into the band, you know, more access, more, more, more. Um, and so as you get to be a part of that, it just seems like, well, there's gotta be a way to make, you know, this with the, the landscape changing, there's gotta be a way to make this whole album visual. Like mm -hmm. maybe not, you know, at that time you had released an EP and I was just trying to catch up. And then the second album, I was just trying to make videos when I could, but maybe if we launched it all at the yeah. same time, then people would be inundated with stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I was thinking about um, when we were talking about getting together and discussing this, I was like, well, what would I want to ask you mm -hmm. about your process? and? It, it, often we talk about like, well, what, where did that song come from, or where did that idea come from, or what inspired that, you know, uh, that piece of music. But, but, but I'm sort of curious, like, what what has sort of inspired you mm -hmm. throughout all this? Like, is, is it a narrative? Is it is it is it an aesthetic? Like, what what sort of has? It, yeah, I know it's not our personality. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because. You know, having worked with it's you guys. It's not the paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's lucrative. Right. It's a, it, well, it's lucrative in, like, uh, feeling like an artist, I guess. So it is lucrative, not monetarily, but... It pays. Yeah, it, but it pays, yeah, yeah emotionally, yeah. Um, but I guess, you know, those early songs I got, you know, I was coming up with literal ideas, coming up with figurative ideas, you know, not trying to figure out the balance. And then as I got to know you guys better and better and better, I felt like just the image, the idea, the aesthetic that you guys kind of, you know, are as a band, um, I just kind of felt more comfortable in just making choices. And then on this one, it's kind of crazy because like you're trying to create a lot of stuff <laughs> at one time. I know you guys are a band and you guys are doing it as a group. I'm a dude trying to do all of this yeah. 
uh, and coming up with ideas. And there's, I mean, uh, the original idea for Mad Men, not the original idea that's there. Mm -hmm. uh, that changed. Uh, White Knuckle had really no idea up until the end because we couldn't really... I floated some ideas, no one was really on... You know, it's just always changing. And yeah. so, you know, I float ideas past you guys, some ideas I like, keep you know, close to the chest, but I feel like it's all the band. I, I feel like it always is representative of the band, and I don't know why that I just know that. I just feel, I just feel yeah. it, I guess. It's sort of like a, you know, I think it's the right choice kind yeah. of thing, so... Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm not answering that. It's like music. Like <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. it comes to you, right? Yeah, it comes to you. And like I think, like any good art, if it comes to you, yeah, and if it uh, hits you in the heart or something. So. Well, I just think it's interesting because, because like specifically, like Madman to me, it's sort of a throwback to an old, you know, like you know Johnny Cash or Charlie Daniels. It's but it's mm -hmm. up tempo and took it, took it, took it, took it. And I, I was thinking, and, I, and you know, I didn't say hey. No, no. Do something with a train or whatever, but right, but, right. but yet you, you came up with that, and then and then like uh, brand new heart with the we, the music box yeah, idea, was, and, it, uh, and I was like, wow, man, this is all. And we didn't really are, have a conversation about any of that. Not at all. That's not wild. All. I man. I, uh, I think I I texted you after I saw saw the brand new heart, and I was like, it's it's hypnotic to me. Like I watched it, and I I watched the way the text moves in front and behind the dancer. When the dress moves off screen, it like pixelates, and there's just all these little tiny subtleties that I just. I, where did that even come from? Like, wh wh where did that idea? I, I never spoke so, about a music box or a dancer. Right. Or what, <laughs> right. So the very so we never actually did a music a uh, video a lyric video for Brand New Heart on the EP. Right. But that was always an idea I had for it way back then. Like I had this idea of a couple dancing underneath a streetlight. Still a cool idea. It would be a cool music video that would be awesome to fully realize with some really professional dancers, I think, in the rain and stuff. Yeah. But it just wasn't going to happen for me to do this giant production with that. And so I just looked for different, like, uh, license-free mm -hmm. uh, stock footage of, of dancers. And then I came across this ballet footage. And I don't know, it was, like, in the dark and stuff. And I just... Uh, that's cool and just kind of yeah. and I kept working on it because originally the, all the lyrics were floating on the front but I feel like you you don't really need a lyric video because your singing is so clear that I know exactly what you're saying yeah. so I felt like well let's just put those lyrics in the back and they don't really need to read I mean your brain wants to read them mm -hmm. and it's kind of a mental game yeah but it's not really important really it just looks cool it looks like yeah. they're kind of burning like kind of smoldering like love maybe is a little bit you know it's yeah, it's very and like when she walks, kind of tumbles. It's like I don't know. There's like it kind of mirrors the song a bit. I don't know, it just worked. Oh, it's captivating. And, mm -hmm. it's and like, it didn't. It didn't initially work because you know I had the lyrics. I, it was kind of a quick one. I had initially had that done right away, but I didn't like the font I had, and I didn't like the way the way it was like over her, and I needed to like set it in there and yeah. change the font. I had a, the font was such a hard thing to find. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the lyrics I, for me, that's that's the, been the, the. But we talked about it when we started this project. Was we really wanted to convey the power power of the lyric, and then so uh, we've gotten a lot of. I mean, I've gotten a lot of feedback from that mm -hmm. from um, mm -hmm. these first three songs, are because people can see the lyric. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it for whatever reason, even though you can hear it clearly. It resonates, I think, differently. I mean, mm -hmm. people are like, oh, like that's that's what's going on here, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, so I think it's brilliant, man. I, uh, you know, I'm super excited about <laughs> chapter two already. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. we need to, we need to, you know. Down. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, I wanted to make sure that like the film, because like, the film obviously has like documentary parts where you guys are talking, I'm interviewing you guys and stuff, and I wanted to make sure that not every video was a lyric video. So like, I wanted to make sure that there was like some music type videos, yeah. you know, because like you don't want to just have that. You want some variety. I mean, we can always come back around and make a lyric video for White Knuckle, you know. But I, I felt that those pictures were more important. Mm -hmm. to like focus on what that content then reading something while it's going on you know mm -hmm. and then the next one there's songs you know one in particular that's like a music video that won't have lyrics on it because it's super cool and mm -hmm. it's kind of a cool video but uh yeah i don't know i mean well it's it's like a you know it's like uh it's a release in some ways but it's also like a, 
a new record's coming out that we want to get because I haven't seen this stuff yet. Right. So it's right. Like when it comes yeah. out next, like I'm I'm just as excited to see it. You know, when you texted us at midnight, like it's live. <laughs> like yeah. You know, we're all scrambling to watch it because yeah. I mean, it's a big part of what I, I think it feeds the 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 inspiration. It's like a feedback loop that just keeps me really excited. Right. Right. There's some. It's funny because like all Madman you were talking about, and it's like like that was I don't. I, initially, I had this idea that it was going to be like fire and crazy and ed- edgy and everything, and I just didn't like that. Like all the fire stuff I was doing, it's just like, this isn't this song. Right. And there's something about the train, it's like, you know, mm-hmm. like industry manifest destiny. I don't know, like this, like, kind of greed, I don't know, you know, greedy, seedy Western thing that I was liking. And then, you know, you kind of sneak in the little kind of stripper type girl and sneak in you guys mm-hmm. um, your art's in it but you don't really notice it as much I think in the fi- uh, when I redo the like the I'll kind of up it a little bit because there is a lot of your art in it it's just okay. really subtle in it so like there's like at the like in the ocean mm-hmm. part in the beginning there's the eyes of the one of the characters just like oh, looking okay. at you but I think because it's been compressed and crushed you don't see like I see it's it in the, subtle. in the in the uh, in the raw version, my master, you see it really clear, but I think I need to compensate for the the compression and like kind of bring it up a little bit because it's kind of cool. So look forward to that in the special cut. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, what's next? Yeah, yeah what's next? But uh, <laughs> but uh, no, uh, super fun. I don't know. I think it turned out really great. I'm really proud of it, and it's gotten you know a lot of support. So. And that, we just need to keep that rolling, right? right, right because right, yeah. we're we're like literally the epitome of indie rock, right. indie artists, and that's what we're doing, creating art. <clears throat> yeah, I got we got to thank you all, you know, for Absolutely. supporting. Yes, yeah. uh, continue to support and share, 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 share. Yeah, but, that's uh, the only way we can get it, get it heard, you know. <laughs> but uh, your outpouring and your uh, your views and likes have been very appreciated. So. Yeah. Very much. Anything else you guys want? No? Good. Awesome. Until next time. Yeah, until, until next, next time. time. <laughs>